Uh, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This time I got another Windows tutorial for you. Everybody is on about the Intel hardware bug called Meltdown that uh, can enable attackers to exploit a vulnerability in the hardware of Intel processors. This vulnerability allows attackers to look at the kernel memory and the kernel memory holds keys for certain applications in an unencrypted way. So uh, the software would decrypt the keys and then store them in the kernel memory and the attacker could read out your SSH keys or PGP keys or whatever. Microsoft has reacted and created a patch to fix those vulnerabilities. However, they did not publicly release this patch so it will not automatically install. Why not? Because some antivirus software causes crashes with the, this patch. There are certain antivirus softwares from third parties that are supported. Like Avast and Avira, there are others that are not supported and might cause a blue screen of death and just turn off your computer. Maybe even without being able to recover from this crash. So there's a Google spreadsheet that will show you if it's supported or not. And uh, the patch is uh, this one. So this is the knowledge base article for the patch. Uh, yep. And uh, known issues with this update. So contact your antivirus. That's uh, this spreadsheet that I showed you before. And uh, if it's supported you can set this registry key and install the update so i've already put this registry key in a registry file it looks like this and uh, it basically says yes uh, i'm compatible with uh, this new patch how do you install such a registry file you open uh, the registry editor and you hold down control and shift and enter or you right click and select run as administrator UAC user agent control will then ask you for your administrator password or just to say yes uh, I want to do this and then you can file import your registry fix and once that's done you can close the registry editor again go to the Microsoft update catalog and download that patch it was released uh, in January of 2018 just yesterday and uh, just select your version you don't probably don't have a Windows Server installation so you're on Windows 10 maybe x86 or x64 and then you have a choice of Delta update or the full one I went for the full one uh, 64 bits and downloaded this uh, 601.8 megabyte file so you just click download and a new window pop pops up and then you save this file and once it's downloaded you just install the update uh, Windows will make sure that the update is applicable for your machine and if it's not it won't let you install it so once that's done a reboot is required and during the reboot it does some additional stuff and finally after the reboot you can check if it all worked out by pressing the Windows key and R and then just type winver for Windows version hit enter and this little window will pop up the build version you're looking for is 16299.192 unless you're on an insider build or something special from your company this version and uh, build version should be the one you're looking for the old one without the patch is uh, 16299.125 so 
one two five compared to one nine two. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps keep you safe in an ever changing online world with hardware vulnerabilities and other stuff. Subscribe and check back for more. Bye bye.